this video we are going to look at how to get and use the Firebug add-in for Firefox. If you just use a search engine and type in Firebug, you should get taken to the Firebug page. It's the first one in the search list, getfirebug.com. And then it's as simple as clicking the Install Firebug button. Choose the version of Firebug that is recommended for your browser. And click Download Now. Once it is downloaded, click the Install Now button and you may be prompted to restart Firefox. What you will notice now is that up in the top right corner of the screen there is a little icon that looks like a little bug. Now how to use the Firebug add-on. I am on a Moodle page and I'm just visiting a test course and in here I'm going to see if I can change some colors. I'm going to click on the firebug icon and down the bottom you will see that a window has popped up. It is really easy to find elements of a page using firebug just using the inspect tool. You can see as I move around the page that there is a blue outline that moves around with my cursor. It shows the different elements that I am hovering over at the time. So if I want to change the topic outline, I'm going to click on that and over in the style here it shows me the various style sheet elements that are affecting that particular piece of the page. If I right click up in this top element and choose to add a new property and type in color you can see that because I put in the code for red, it has now changed the topic outline heading to red. I'm going to highlight that little bit of code and copy it because I know that this page, once I refresh it, will lose any formatting that I've put into the Firebug extension because it is not for making permanent changes, it is for testing out how to make your changes. But I copied that bit of code and if I now close this extension, go to Site Administration, Appearance, Themes, and the theme that I am using is the formal white theme. I use this theme because I know that it has a settings page and I know that the settings page has a custom CSS box. If I paste in that little bit of custom CSS and go save changes and then if I navigate my way back to my course that change has now become a permanent change while I am using this theme. In this way, you can actually edit quite a range of themes without having to have access to the underlying code. So if you are a site administrator and you would like to edit your themes, but you don't have access, FTP access or backend file access, then you can choose a theme that has a custom CSS box and using the Firebug add-in, 
you can change quite a few things in that theme.